The first half of this video was filmed in July 2020. A lot of shit happened, a lot of time has passed, and now it is January 2021. I never did finish my fuel system. I'm still waiting to get the intake manifold and the fuel rail put on so I know where to mount the fuel pressure regulator because I want it to look nice. Uh, so I never did that. I decided just to put that footage in with the footage of me doing the oil pump. And now you've clicked on this video and you're watching it. So thank you. And this lighting makes it look like I haven't slept in four days, but I do sleep. If you watched the last video, you saw all the wiring shit. That is necessary to run this surge tank setup. Since then, I have pulled the pumps out of the tank and bought all the lines and fittings that are necessary. So I got to put the O-rings on, get everything set up and put it all together. So this O-ring seals the pump to the tank. You'll have a hundred micron filter on each of the pumps and there is an O-ring there to seal it. And then this little outlet piece will sit on top of the pump. We can just drop it right in, but I wanna make sure that O-ring isn't crushed. It looks like it's good. And then these rings just hold the pump nice and secure into the tank. So those are tightened down and all the wires are connected now just so they're sitting where they should be. Next step is to get fuel from the stock fuel tank into the surge tank. So this is just 3 8 uh, rubber hose and cut to the appropriate length. So then the dash 8 AN threads into the surge tank and the rubber hose just slides over this barbed piece. First time trying to use AN fittings, uh, they slide over your braided line and it should bottom out on a little lip inside the fitting. And then you can take this end and start to thread it in. And I was told to grease it a little bit so it doesn't tear up the rubber inside the line. All right, it took a lot of force to get it to this point. So the moment of truth will be if I can rip this off or not. If I can rip it off, I fucked up. Okay, we have a 45 degree fitting coming off of each pump and then they merge into a Y right here. And that will run the whole way up to the rail. Just ordered a bunch of drivetrain stuff for the B5. Um, placed the order yesterday, that's why I can't afford a haircut. Right now, that's why my hair looks like this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to the shop. I'm going to, I think I'm gonna run the fuel lines that I never finished in the fuel video. And then I guess I'm gonna do my oil pump. It's like 20 degrees out today and the shop is going to be horribly cold. I got three layers on, but somebody has it worse than me. So I'm not gonna complain about shit. Last video, I didn't have this guy yet. Um, super nice, as you can tell, it's pretty much brand new. Uh, like I said, it was just rebuilt a couple months ago and never reinstalled by the previous owner. So it's 5858, uh, 0.63 AR hot side. Um, got to repaint my valve cover because when I ratchet strapped it down to the pallet over there to drive it home in the back of the truck, fucked up the paint, but I don't care. It's just a valve cover. Uh, but yeah, I got a VS Racing Wastegate 44 mil V band. Um, I was a little bit skeptical because of how cheap they are. I asked somebody that their friend had one on his car and he said he's had it for a while with no issues, so I figured it was worth it. It's literally a quarter of the price of the tile, so whatever. Tiles were on back order anyway. Oh yeah, and the rear main seal went in the other day as well. So things almost sealed up. Um, I threw this shit on just to mock it up, make sure I wasn't missing anything. Uh, this piece is going to 
get converted to a 10 a.m. fitting and then run to the catch can. And it looks like mine's cracked. I should probably buy a new one of those. Water pump on. I spray painted the pulley just so it looks a little bit, a little bit fresher. Uh, AC compressor or the AC tensioner because I am going to be running AC still and the fluid damper. I was working on Dylan's car yesterday and left all of my tools at my house. So the oil pan is coming off one turn at a time with a damn screwdriver. This is what a brand new bottom end looks like. I'm very excited about this. People have made more power than I'm planning to make with stock main caps and stock main bolts. And I have billet mains with ARP main studs. I have rods and pistons as well. So this should be solid for the power I wanna make. Behind this plastic cover, there's a pulley on the timing belt. It is what spins this long shaft running through the bottom end, which spins that gear when the engine's running. This is the oil pump. You can see it has like splines on it. When that gear spins while the engine's spinning, it spins this, sucks up oil through the pickup tube. So this should slide right in there. All right, oil pickups on. This little plastic guy goes in there as well. That little quarter circle and that little quarter circle coincide with that clip. Whoops, that clip and that clip, that peg goes in there. If you have ARP main studs, you will have to trim this little tray for it to work. All right, clearance those little guys so the main studs will fit. And then I'm kind of concerned because it shakes or it has a lot of play, but I think when the oil pan is bolted down, it holds it in place. So we're gonna try it. All right, I should have filmed the part where I put the gear in there, but uh, you'll set it in place and you might have to crank the engine until the gear lines up with the other shaft that's in there and then it'll fall into place. <laughs> 